Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. In our previous video where we had covered test rigor, which is Gen AI based AI automation tool. And we also learned how we can create our test case automation, basically create one test case and automate it in just a few minutes using Gen AI and uh, some keywords. So in this video, we will look into what are different ways we can create our test case and also if our test fails, what are different features which, using which you can just you know maintain your test cases in fraction of seconds. And if any uh, error happens, then also you can fix those. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the screen. Okay, so we are on our screen where we see that we had created our test cases. Uh, okay, so this was our test case. In previous video actually it was failing but we'll see that also how we can create a new test case so i am adding a new test case over here so i'm just going to create uh, you know uh, another test which is verify uh, successful login successful login and in here if you don't know how to write the first test case then i'll uh, suggest you to go on uh, you know some documentation so here they have given a very nice documentation also so from here you just go on basic commands so you see over here different actions are there uh, by using click actually you can click on the uh, click on any uh, button or any web element uh, if you want different types of click double triple right middle long whatever you know you can use different uh, options with click and here they have given the example also. So this is very nice comprehensive um, documentation which is maintained by test rigor. So over here also click Chrome in the context of Pixel XL3. So there are so many ways or so many examples using which you can use click. Similarly, if you go in here, you know, if you wanted to generate uh, some uh, test data or something like that, you can use generate unique email, unique name, regex, Google Authenticator code or something like that. You can use generate uh, keyword and they have given the example also. In here, enter, enter is just to use uh, enter, uh, you know, enter text or enter, if you see example, enter stored value action nodes into third nodes, something like that. So we'll see uh, some of the scenarios where we will be using all of these. So let's come back on our screen where we are going to automate one scenario. So here, what are we going to do actually? So if you see, this is the documentation link uh, using which you can uh, navigate to the previous screen which I was showing. So now here, uh, what you can use, you can use navigate actually. So there is navigate, okay, so see, here we can use navigate to and the URL basically uh, using which you can navigate. Okay, so now we are going to use one uh, orange HRM application to test it, uh, which we had used on in our previous uh, test case also. So we need to use navigate to and it is now suggesting some of the previous you know steps which I had already created. So see over here in our previous uh, test, I had created this particular test. So that from there itself, it is suggesting me, which is really nice to have. So I'm just using this navigate to, so it is going to navigate to this particular URL. Now um, I'm using this, uh, this scenario itself, I enter username admin, enter password admin one, two, three and click login. So here I'll use this and let's see this time what we are going to do, we are going to add one assertion also so control c and i just wanted to go on this particular login screen so let's see how it looks actually so here if you see we have username password and this is the login button right and if i just use control c so i click on login so using this we can log in on this screen and now we want to uh, verify right so on page actually we can verify multiple things you know multiple ways so we can uh, 
verify using this dashboard we can verify using you know any of the menu items or orange hrm text or anything you know time at work uh, it should have the widget which is uh, time at work on dashboard screen and that's how we will make sure that we have logged in on on the screen right so for this actually we have a particular particular uh, attribute which is check okay so we can use check uh, keyword using which we can you know uh, we can verify whether the page contains what you know check that page contains something like uh, item 5 or whatever so if i just go on top where this check is here okay so this is example using which you can use assertions so check that element so basically whichever element contains a stored value from something uh, so like this you can use different scenarios uh, different examples using which you can provide the assertions so now here actually what i am going to use check that page contains so this is good right this is uh, this is helping me write the uh, write the scenario that is really uh, you know expediting the process of test case writing so here i'll just go on my application so what can i test here so let's suppose we are uh, going to make sure that we are at dashboard page so contains dashboard okay so using this we are going to just uh, successful logging okay so now i'll just click on add and run and now you see it is running the test case and it will take two minutes of time to run so meanwhile it is running we can see some of the details also so in our previous test case over here uh, there are two test cases basically uh, this was the previous one and in here if you see when we have written this test case there comes one particular option which shows us generate corner cases also so if i click on this it is going to create uh, you know create corner cases uh, of this around this particular scenario so corner case uh, corner cases generation triggered so it is right now generating all those corner cases edge cases basically which we generally you know miss so it is going to help with that also so it is right now executing so here meanwhile it is <coughs> uh, it is navigating or uh, it is executing we can click on this particular uh, button uh, drop down over here and we can see in real time how it is looking okay so it is uh, see on this place it has navigated and on the second screen on the second screen if you see it has uh, entered admin and username and on the third screen if you see there are two logins right this is the good thing uh, you will know so there are two logins it had identified two logins over here login one uh, which was the text and login two which is here but now you see the power of this it has automatically identified that which is the button which upon which we need to click and it has exactly clicked on this particular button you see it uh, it gave us one particular uh, you know uh, demarcation also which particular uh, button it clicked so it clicked on uh, login button and here if you see it has identified it has uh, we have been logged in but in this case <clears throat> see it it uh, couldn't identify dashboard okay so now uh, what it is so, uh, showing um ai based rule failed because looking at the current scenario it this appears to be orange hrm dashboard that a user would see after successfully login the interface shows a user is already logged in username visible at the top with access key so now here let's see what has happened so this test has failed although but let's see what are the more details we can see this is the error uh, so the login steps cannot be executed from this starting point since we are already at the post login dashboard view the login step so we can't verify the login process described in the test case 
so it is basically giving you the whole uh, you know uh, the all the analysis of the failure the login screen with username uh, password field isn't visible in this screenshot okay so here uh, what we can do in order to fix this maybe you know there there could be some issue so what we can do in here to fix this show extra info or something uh, ai generated a step so in here if you see it shows all the errors okay so it is it is showing us error so in errors basically it it collates all the test cases based on different issues so if you maybe you know you have 100 test cases and out of 100 if you are stuck with 10 test cases which are failing for the similar reason so what you can do in that case so you can so, uh, see over here based on error it is showing us view all affected test cases so it is going to show you all the affected test case due to that particular issue okay and in here if you see right now we have only one test case which is affected by this but if you see it it has listed me all the test cases now what you can do you can do a few things you can uh, edit test case basically if you click on edit test case this is going to help you you know edit again the same test case so it will show you okay um, check that uh, page contains dashboard um, text something like that if i just you know use this and save and retest if i do so this should help us to fix this also but if we go again and see meanwhile it is running uh, we can see other options so this test case is running right now so here uh, what we can do we can see quick actions again and in the quick actions cancel retest right now it is showing but let's see if it is passing that's fine then otherwise we'll see other uh, other ways to fix this also so basically it also has one way where you can apply the fix so it is going to help you with uh, identification of the fixes and you can apply all those uh, you know all those affected test cases the same fix in one go so it is very very uh, you know uh, time con uh, time saving activity because it takes a lot of time to fix uh, test cases in automation that's a headache uh, you know people are facing nowadays and these ai tools should help us to fix uh, these kind of issues so basically test has again failed um, it seems there are issues with the test itself so let's see and uh, let's uh, edit this test case again and see if we can uh, it is misunderstanding something so once we okay so we haven't mentioned click login button so that's why our test is failing so now here we can navigate to errors page where it is going to showcase us all the different issues which we have so now let's see if it is suggesting us something okay so here fix by uh, find and replace so let's see if it is allowing us or showing us we can fix with this so no um, include rules case sensitive it is showing us replace with so this is the same uh, navigate to enter username password and check that page contains the uh, dashboard text so although there is issue with the same uh, you know step itself so now i can what i can see all the tests which has failed because of missing um, click on login so i'll see log in okay so now i am going to um, apply this fix to all the test case which has failed for this particular reason so i'll show i'll um, you know i'll click on find all and it is going to list all the test cases and i can select all those test cases and replace selected and by clicking on replace selected it shows one test case refactored so if it is failing for uh, you know failing on 100 test cases you can just in a click you can refactor all those test cases i mean recall how much time it was taking when you were doing it um, by yourself 
So now here, if I just go back in test cases, I can again rerun this and let's see if it is passing. So retest. Okay, so it identified the login uh, button and it should click on login. So you see over here, it has uh, clicked on login button itself. And with that, it should also navigate to the dashboard page. Okay, so it has failed. Uh, it shows uh, invalid credentials somehow. So let's see if uh, our test has some issue. Uh, we mistakenly edit test case and password is correct. So here let's identify what is the issue. So I can see that page is showing invalid credentials. So it has somehow entered some more credentials it seems. This is strange uh, right now because in this previous test, I have used the same uh, scenario, same uh, test case, but uh, in this one, it is failing. So it seems there has been some issue with this or what. Uh, let me try the for the last time. Uh, here in this edit test case, if I just put this one and here the issue must be with Okay, and check that page contains dashboard. I'll remove this for now and save and retest. Let's see if, uh, if I am able to access uh, uh, save and retest. Okay, so I have just saved and retest. Okay, so now it is running right now and somehow it is getting some issues, okay. Anyways, it seems there are some issues and this particular test is passing right now, but uh, the uh, other one is failing. In here, you just go and you can go and uh, see, uh, check that. Uh, basically, you can go and uh, see the documentations, whether we had written the correct uh, documentation or not. So this is having some issue because uh, we had tried the same test case step in the in new uh, test itself, but it is passing over here. I just executed this 39 and it is failing over here and it is passing. It is failing over here and passing in the previous one. So I'll try to fix this. And if you also figure out the issue, please do comment in the comment box. And if you uh, have some issues and if you are not able to do it, do let me know in the comment box and it is worth trying these AI tools and that's how we'll also learn. And we also have to make sure that we are also in the market with all these AI tools which are in the market. So do try. I'm also going to work on this and try to fix this and let you know the answer or the fix in the next video, what I tried and how did I fix. So if you are also trying and find the solution, do let me know in the comment box and see you in the next video. Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed the channel, do subscribe and like the video if you like the content and let me know in the comment box what you liked about this video and what are the suggestions for me to uh, better improve the content. So see you in the next one.